Thanks for tuning in to ND Golf. I'm Nicholas Devoine out here on the North Course at Lake Carrot Country Club. We are literally about to go into isolation. Now, before I actually do go into isolation, I wanted to put a couple of TaylorMade three woods up to the test. Now, I did say I was gonna do this quite a while ago, but a lot of things got in the way. So today I have for you the TaylorMade Sim Titanium the new three wood that was just recently released, as well as the Sim Max. Both in stiff shafts, slightly different, unfortunately, because the Sim is not an adjustable head, I couldn't get exactly the same shaft. So I've got a glued in head here, of course, in the Sim Max, because there is no adjustability. And of course, in the Sim Titanium, this one here, it has got an adjustable neck, but this is the only shaft I could get my hands into. Anyway, let's put these two drivers, or three woods I should say, to the test and actually see which one you should possibly think about getting in 2020. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Subscribing is completely free to do and then make sure you hit the bell. We're gonna have a load of content coming to you over the next month as we go into isolation. I have got all the equipment at home for me to review. So make sure you hit the bell because that is going to notify you of when that next video is coming up. Now we're gonna talk about text and specs first before we actually hit these three woods down here on the north course. We're on one of the short par fours. We're gonna send Droney down towards the green to see where the balls land. And then we're gonna head home and then we're gonna do numbers in the hitting cage. Now, first of all, Texan Specs. Now, SIM Titanium. Now remember, SIM stands for Shape in Motion. Now the Titanium is probably the newest one to the market. It is there for the better player. Now V steel sole plate there is there simply for turf interaction to make it easier. Now, the big thing here, difference between the Sim Titanium and the Sim Max. Now, I don't have the Max D, so unfortunately, we're not reviewing that one. But as you can see here, when you look at the bottom of the Sim Max, there is no weight at the front. So again, this is gonna be a slightly higher launching three wood in comparison to the Sim Titanium. So that weight there adjusts the CG location further forward so the ball comes off a little bit hotter. So I'm expecting this one to go a little bit further than this one. Um, speed slot is still there, or the speed pocket they should say, uh, again there to help increase ball speed, also there to increase forgiveness and get the ball going a little bit further. Twist faced is there, so for off-centered hits it should bring it back to the middle of the fairway. Um, again, like I said, V still is there. Now the big difference between also the Sim Titanium and the standard Sim is the Sim Titanium has this 80 gram sole plate again to help with I guess a little bit more stability and getting the ball out there a little bit further. The other big difference between the two is adjustability through the neck. Now the Sim Titanium is the only three wood in the Sim range that has adjustability through the neck. This three wood I guess would you like I said before is probably going to be for the better player. Um, so it's a very, very small market three wood but again you can have full adjustability you, through the neck system there you can make it higher, lower, all the, all the things that you normally see from TaylorMade. Nothing new in the neck, but just more adjustable. Again, like I said, here with the standard sim, no adjustability through the neck. Texan specs done. Like to keep it short, simple, simple and sweet. Let's hit this ball down the short course here on the north course, I should, should say, at Karen Up. We're gonna send Droney down there, see where the ball lands. And then from there, like I said, we'll head home, do some number testing and let you help or help you decide which one is better for you. All right, so Droney's down by the green. Now, the one thing that you need to remember with me is that me and Three Woods don't like each other. So there's probably a good chance that you're probably not actually going to see where these golf balls land because they could be going all over the place. But we've got him down there just in case. Now, just remember, 
The main thing right I'm looking for right now is sound and feel. We'll get the numbers after when we get home and we're hitting into the cage to see how they perform. But for me, sound and feel is a really, really big part about picking the right three wood for you. So I'm gonna hit the Sim Max first. Uh, again, probably the more forgiving of the two. Let's just see how it sounds and how it feels. And if you happen to see it land, good for you. So seventh hole here on the north course. Let's just try and put some good swings on this. Not too bad, a little bit towards the left hand side. You might be able to see that on Droney. Felt good, sounded pretty good. Gotta say I'm a big fan of that. All right, one more with this and then we'll hit the titanium and then like I said, we'll head home. Nice ball flight, that one was struck a little bit better. Again, a little bit on the left hand side, but again, you should be able to see where that landed on Droney. Now, let's go with the titanium. All right, so two with the titanium. Now, these things look exactly the same when you put them down on the ground. There is not much difference in look. Uh, so that is a really good thing. So you can get your head around the look kind of part. Let's see how it sounds, let's see how it feels. Okay, got that one pretty good. A much tinnier sound. Not sure if I'm actually a big fan of that, but we'll see where the balls are down there because you can get your head around how tinny something sounds if it's gone a long way. Now, because this has got that weight at the front of the head, it should go just that little bit further than the Sim Max. All right, last one. Okay, so that one's gone a bit left. Now, like I said, the thing with this is all about sound. Let me just bring Droney back. We're gonna head down the fairway and we'll see where those golf balls are. Okay, so directly behind me right now is the two tee shots there that I hit with the Sim Max. Now, a little bit further up the fairway, just over that ridge here behind my head, are the two shots I hit with the Sim Titanium. Now, I did expect that to happen simply because the fact the Sim Titanium has CG location a little bit further forward, so it's gonna come off a little bit hotter off the face. Ball flights were roughly the same. Anyway, let's head home, let's see the numbers and see which three would best suit you in 2020. Okay, so here we are finally at home. Uh, let's actually just put the GC quad out. We're gonna do some numbers, do this fairly quickly. Um, we'll see what the results are. Like I said, I'm expecting the titanium to go further. Anyway, I've got Callaway golf balls, chrome softs here, GC quad fired up, ready to go. Not my best one to start. 132 ball speed, 2740 backspin, 190 meters carry, 221 total. So not my best, but hey, still went down the middle. Let's try again. Okay, slightly better hit there. 197 carry, 225. Club head speed or ball speed 145, so a little bit better than the last one. All right, so just a couple more with this one and then we'll hit the titanium. A little bit more of a draw shape on that one. 144 ball speed, 196 carry, 221 total. Last one and then we'll try the titanium. That was a bit better. That was probably the most solid one of the lot. Again, a little bit of right to left shape as per usual with me. 145 ball speed, 3380 backspin, 203 carry, 222.3 meters total. All right, so that's the Sim Max. Let's now hit the titanium. Um, I'm 
expecting this one to go a little bit further and it changes to fairway wood so it changes color so we can see the difference. Alright, 209 carry, definitely longer. That one did feel like it went a little bit right. Let's have a look at the numbers. Yeah, that one did go right. 143, 2892 backspin, 208 carry, 239 total. So this is definitely a much longer three wood than the Sim Max, but also comes with a little bit of inaccuracy. Slightly different ball shape there. All right, two more. I got that one. A bit straighter. Let's have a look at the numbers. All right, one, four, three, ball speed. 209 carry, 235.2 total. So it is definitely longer. So if you're looking for a longer three wood, then you probably want to look at the Sim Titanium. The only problem is, like I said, is when you do do that, you are going to bring in inconsistencies because the CG location is a little bit further forward than the Sim Max. So it just you just need to weigh up what you're looking for. Hit one more. Again, not too bad on that one. Chasing after balls out here. A little bit left again. What numbers have we got? 146 ball speed, 206 carry, 238 total. So straight up off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, the Sim Titanium is definitely longer, but it also is a little bit more inconsistent to that of the Sim Max. So it comes down to what you want. If you want something with a little bit more punch off the face, Sim Titanium, like I said, it is there for the better player because that CG location is a little bit further forward. If you're looking for a little bit more forgiveness, then I would say the Sim Max. Now, if you're looking for something even more forgiving than that, the Sim Max D is also out there, but unfortunately, I don't have that three wood. But, like you said, you can say there, there is a stepping program. Better player, Sim Max, I mean Sim Titanium, then you go to Sim Max, Sim Max D. Anyway guys, I hope that helps with what three wood you should pick if you're going to go down the tailor-made shape in motion range. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, and we'll see you soon again on ND Golf.